Okay, this is the rhododendron austrinum. Rhododendron austrinum is the Florida flame azalea. This is the first of our native deciduous azaleas. We will do a fairly small group of native deciduous azaleas compared to how many there are, but we're gonna look at some of the ones that are fairly common in the trade and some of the common species. A lot of what you're gonna see are hybrids, but this one is the Florida flame. Uh, it's native to Florida but it's hardy zone six to nine, so it is a native deciduous shrub. And we know our family for rhododendron is Ericaceae. So we think filtered like, moist, well-drained, acid soil type. However, native azaleas are ones you will often see put in the sun. They flower very well, so full sun to part shade. As far as ID, it's going to flower as the leaves are coming out. So you'll see the flowers coming out and the leaves following very close behind. The flowers on this one, terminal clusters. You have your funnel form type flower, yellow on the Florida flame azalea. Now you'll see different shades of yellow, even to orange. That's probably due to a lot of different hybridization that you'll see in nature. So you'll see various colors. We're gonna stick to Pretty easy for ID as far as calling the yellow ones Austrinum. So Florida Flame for the yellow. This is one that does have some fragrance. So again, fairly common in the trade. When your leaves come out on your deciduous azaleas, they're gonna appear very clustered at the tips. And you can see that here, clustered at the tips, although our leaf arrangement is alternate. The leaves themselves, especially when they're new, are quite pubescent. So you can feel that fuzzy pubescence on the new growth. As they get a little older and further into the season, you may only find a little pubescence on the veins on the underside. But for new growth, you'll see the pubescence. You have an obovate leaf shape. And we talked about that little bristle at the tip of our evergreen azaleas that we looked at, the rhododendron indicum in particular. And you can find that little bristle on the tip of these as well. So that may help you on your ID when you lose your flowers. The form is another thing that'll help you. If you look at this kind of open vase shaped form, they get usually between about 10 to 15 feet tall, uh, naturalizing of course is a good use. Everybody loves them for the early spring bloom. Uh, mixed border as far as uses. Anything else on rhododendron austrinum? Your Florida flame azalea.